How many countries did you get to travel to? Where did you go? Few cities like Milan, Tokyo. For real? I graduated from the Greenwich Marketing Postgraduate Program. Hello, I'm in Paris, so I didn't steal a lot. Body Lone Towers, right? Yes. Lagos is an opportunity disguised as geography. Welcome to the center of excellence, the Nigerian capital of dreams come true. Do you? If you want to drive to Rose West 2024, just knock on the door of Engineer Rishi. I said that why am I viewing this movie like it's not worth the review and I'm like girl if I could take my heart in 8,000 naira to go and see this movie in a cinema I am definitely reviewing it Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tess Brown. This is Bronze TV and you're welcome to Movie Mania. If it is your first time, you're welcome on board. I am so happy you are watching my video. Oh. Wow. But if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I really do appreciate the love. But if you're new here, please don't go without hitting the red subscribe button below and the bell button beside to get notified every time I drop a video on this channel. And if you do not know, my channel is about um, entertainment and lifestyle. So basically, my movie review falls into entertainment. And if you see me do any other thing like vlogging or, you know, talk relationship, then you know that that day we are doing lifestyle. Simple as that. <laughs> Alright, so the movie I want to review today is Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah is a 2024 film, a Nollywood film um, produced by Wumi Tariola. Apparently, I think the old buzz is just about the fact that it is her first cinema film. Um, she's always like the YouTube you know, president. But it's actually always good to upgrade, don't you? So, the movie was produced by Wumi Tariola, directed by Adiolua Owo. Come think of it, it was the first time I'm hearing about this director, so you know, I had to do a little bit of thinking. We will get there. The movie is currently in the cinema and it was released on September 26th. And, you know, they did a premiere, all the glamour and glance and cream de la cream <laughs> of the movie industry was there. I was saying, it's alright. I think the movie is average at best, if you ask me. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're watching this video because you asked me, so I'm giving you my opinion. So this is my opinion and let's just get straight to it. Let's talk about the movie, the storyline. So I heard that the movie was once on YouTube before. Not like I'm 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 not a big fan of seeing Hollywood movies on YouTube. I don't stream it far from a cinema. But whatever takes me to see a you know movie on YouTube is bundle. But then I found out that there are actually some very nice movies on YouTube and you'll be shocked. So and the views would wow you i'm telling you it's crazy like that 
So this movie is about a young girl, Latifa, who lives in the trenches of Lagos. But we got a background story of the fact that our dad used, was a driver for an ambassador for a Nigerian ambassador to the UK, and he was meant to, you know, move with him to the UK with his family. But then he got involved in a motor accident just about three weeks before the move and all Latifah's dreams and hope of traveling abroad and traveling the world was stashed and she stayed in the trenches with her mother and she grew up there. But because of, you know, she's some sort of elite in terms of reading, so she has read her way to, you know, mixing with the top people in the business industry and in the country so she really she she like it loves to read so she now tends to live the lifestyle that she has read about she has no she has eyes for luxury and nose for you know good stuff so she used that knowledge to lie her way to the top until she met this um young man who is a an advertising mogul and you know she was i think it was like a lover's first sight thing and they met and they got to know each other and she helped with some creative ideas for his marketing um um uh, marketing work uh with different states with ocean state and liberal state and she she literally worked as a team but she built up this lie that she was Latifa Deleke, like she has a background, she has a connection with the Adeleke family. The lie didn't last long, it kind of blew up in her face later on. Her mom advised her to avoid, you know, this kind of lifestyle where she had to lie away to, you know, do stuff. And, you know, she, both of them fell in love and you know, the light cut off with her, they broke up for a while because, you know, typical storyline, everything, uh, you know, she came forward to tell his sister the truth, the mom loved the fact that she was able to let his son come to his father's mom memorial, welcome that, just as that happened, um, the guy's PA decided to come and scatter everything by going to really find out who that fight really is going to the trenches to interview people to get to know her and you know found out all this recorded her mother and took it to the guy's family and the life was exposed and everything came crumbling down then she decided to start a business of her own pick her life up after you know a while of sobbing because like she has great idea so why not use it so I decided to leave it uh, an honest lifestyle moving forward and then they got together he asked her to marry or marry him and you know you you know you, you know the story goes <laughs> so now let's talk about the characters the cast and the character the cast and the character let's talk about that the performances what do you think uh the funny thing is i missed like a few scenes of the film i'll be honest and I, I missed like a few scenes of the film i wanted to see it at uh, viva cinemas uh, in uh, maryland uh i said maryland i wanted to see a uh, viva cinemas at um Jarmo, but then i missed it by a like 15 minutes and i said no i won't see every bit of this film and then i went to um civil bed cinemas in the of city mall and then i was stuck in traffic and i still missed like another 15 minutes i'm like okay then we the liar i'm going to watch this film and i'm going to make a review of my own so yes i watched like a huge chunk of the movie about an hour 40 50 minutes of the movie but i didn't cut, i couldn't catch up with the first 10 you know minutes of the movie which was pretty sad but we just gotta have to pick up from where we you know <laughs> the cast number one the main cast of course Queen Latifah which was acted by Wumi Torella 
herself and I don't know I I really do not like her acting a friend of mine said she actually preferred her acting in that film compared to Tony Abrams Alakada and honestly I felt like that was an insult to Tony Abrams acting skills <laughs> I mean come on I felt like Mumi as a niche I'm not the type of person to stereotype actors to their niche or to what they usually you know the roles they usually give them and they keep giving them I'm not that kind of person now. honestly I'm not I just I like actors that can evolve do something different and you know give us some new juice and stuff to look out for but I felt like because it is not really a style English film because the movie was basically shot in English and Yoruba a lot a, oh, a huge chunk of Yoruba there you guys but point is she not that type of actress so she was trying a lot hard from my POV though I'm, I'm sure you probably see it differently but from my POV I felt she was trying too hard to to be that character to be that person and maybe it's just because of the online cliche of oh Rumi is always shouting like she's she's the type of person to be shouting <laughs> so I really didn't see her as that kind of person to be calm and co well collected in a film as a character so a character really did not do it for me and I know that you know people want to produce movies and be the you know top person that they look out for you know sell themselves while selling the movie I understand the urge for that but there are still a lot of people who produce movies and use amazing characters because they believe those characters do sell the movie well. but you know what do I know <laughs> another character to look up for is Ovina Ibro if you have seen Domitila you would you know remember her very well she is a very she acted Kuliremi's mother uh that's Jide in this film and you will know that oh this the you know she carried herself well or the poise yeah, she's usually doing uh you know um strong woman miss independent kind of person in movies so yeah she showed you know the queen mother kind of thing and then they had this call to back it up every time she's showing up or showing out <laughs> and i think i really do like her character except the fact that no mother-in-law can try the bullshit that she did in that film with me i'm sorry like i i came as your as your son's friend he's not even introducing me as his fiance and you are Trashing me out like that. My ass is your tolerance for rubbish. Oh. Please don't bring those to my table. As simple as that. Anyway. Another character that you to look for is Kule Remy, of course. Um Kule Remy hmm, is always one to look out for, you know, the crush of many ladies in the industry. <laughs> anyway, more serious thought. I think Claire Remy delivered his role well. I like the um I like the charisma that comes with his character and he did not hesitate to be himself while still acting out the role. I I could see Kule Remy and I could say, okay, this is just Kule Remy, this is just who he is the character is not you know much to do with but it was good i think it is performance was good also there was kiki just kiki now comedy when it comes to comedy you would find out there and she would you know deliver so yeah 
Kiki was good. Nancy Simi also carried that character pretty good. You could see her be a personal assistant and someone who is also very interested in her boss. She made that obvious. And I think Nancy Simi is a great actor as well. She has proven herself in the past years in so many movies that we've seen, cinemas, Netflix, Prime, and all that. Femi Adebayo also showed up as a mechanic, an elite mechanic that pulls out customer's car to somebody that wants to borrow it for a fake life. By Kumi, of course. So, Femi Adebayo acted a mechanic, a boss mechanic, while uh, Barashagi was with him as his apprentice or oh, sorry not uh, an apprentice but Banashagi was with him as um somebody that works for him and I, I don't know there was not much to say about the character you know Shaggy is always very loud very out there so you know what to expect when it comes to Shaggy of course Femi Adebayo on the other hand played a role I've not seen him play in a long time and I think you know of course he, he delivers well he's a veteran in the industry he's not a, he's not a baby in the industry so and that was madame shadia who acted um queen latifah's mother and um i think it was good i saw that she did something different from what i usually see her do you know trying to put in the english or and trying to act like the uneducated mother i think she really you know did very well she's actually a great actor so i love i love it i i, I love um every bit of time where she showed up in the film also there is officer was um he is an instagram um sensation but I am really not a fan so I really don't know how to characterize this character and there is Enyo Lua our TikTok social media influencer turned actor and as usual he did okay it not like he showed a lot but I saw him like act the trenches character and I think he did fine so I like the fact that he can switch up when needed and that's very good that's a very important characteristic of an act last but not least before i forget there is um Ade Dimeji Abdelatifu i'm going to also live in the trenches and is forming music producer video director and everything it was not much to see but you know they were able to present scenarios where okay this is what happens in the ghetto kind of thing but not much one character that i wanted to really talk about but i really don't remember a name a real name is the lady that acted um kule remy's sister in the film who is a pilot and i put to study psychology abroad and she can read people and know when they are seen Oh, interesting, right? I don't know. This one act happens to fall in between. The fact that the story tells, like the moral of the story, the story tells the story of somebody that lies and lives fake life and still end up getting the, you know, the good of what is left of this society. I mean, if you are telling me that all I have to do. Uh, to make it in Lagos is to be who I'm not, borrow things, lie, and I'll meet somebody that will love me. And even when he finds out that oh, I had been a liar all along, it will still be in love with me. I think that's a cliche, and I think it is sending, you know, some messages out there that I think is not good enough. I mean. What happened to living an honest lifestyle? Although the movie showed at the end that your lie will always catch up with you, and every time you have to lie, you have to you know lie another, make another lie, 
another lie, another lie just to cover that same lie. And I think she really did that. <laughs> she, she did that pretty well. What do I like about the movie? I think the score was average, nothing peculiar. But at least it was nice that they have original scores. I think that was nice. I really didn't get a lot of things that stood out for me in the film. Not the costume, not the... They were basic at best. But yeah, they were able to use some props that I like, like the cars, the... The... Helicopter... Yeah, those are, you know, things that you have to pull out and I'm on the lyric to get to produce a film, an exotic cause and all that. So I think, yeah, they did okay with the prop. I think that's all. I mean, there wasn't a lot of things that stood out to me, like I said. So it was just there. Like I said. Okay, so what I do not like about the movie. I think just like most Nigerian movie, the movie was able to make me look very stupid in a lot of ways. <laughs> I mean, this is a basic mistake that you shouldn't make in film these days. Like, they are mistakes of the past that shouldn't happen again. Continuity. How do you wake up from sleep and you're wearing makeup? And makeup is clean and fresh. I mean, if you want to tell me that, oh, she slept with her makeup overnight, you you know, you and I know how it looks when you wake up in the morning with a makeup that you had from the previous day. Horrible. So, why will you, like, it won't. Lip, 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 lipstick and lip gloss in the morning. It can't woke you up. And that's what I see. Ha! I beg now. Stop. Like, don't play. <laughs> like, don't the, the really. No. I, I felt like the comedy was out trashed and it was majorly in the ghetto. And I do not understand why. They have to overplay their hand when it comes to that comedy part. I think you can, you know, portray comedy without stretching it out. So I think the comedy was over stretched. I really didn't. They were trying a lot hard to make people laugh. So, talking about playing on my intelligence as a film watcher, like, how do you make a it was it called how do you make a billboard with somebody's picture that you didn't have before and it's just there queen latifa something 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 just because you promised her that you would put her face on the billboard did you photoshop that image oh they must have photoshopped the image In conclusion, I really don't want to stress long about this movie because honestly, is the movie worth my 8k? I don't think so. But I think I would manage it for half the price. And who should see this movie? People that love to see movie on YouTube. I think those are the people that should see the movie. Because I mean, they won't mind. It's not like. There is anything extra to this story. <laughs> mm. uh, 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 this is really how I feel about the movie. I would give the movie a 4.8. 4.8. I think is close to five apart from ten 
<laughs> like she said, Oji no si tailor osumo fashion stylist. So Oji no si ten osumo five. That's what it is. So, well, I, you know me, I would encourage you to go see the movie because Namoni she take produce some so. And she says she wants one billion on the film. So guys, get to it. Let's go make her the one billion. Okay. Anyway, this is where I draw the curtains on today's movie review. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section. Share the video with your friends. I could really do with the views. Thank you. If you want to follow me on social media, across all social media platforms, it is at I am underscore Tosi Brown, and you will find me there looking all gorgeous and charming. What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, see you next time on my channel. Have an amazing life. Bye.